Amnesty International has condemned what it describes as the utter failure of the Nigerian authorities to learn from the heartbreak of Chibok Town in Bono State and ultimately to protect children. The non-governmental organization made the assertion in a statement on Friday upon the backdrop of the ninth anniversary of Boko Haram's abduction of 276 students from a girls' secondary school in Northeast Nigeria in 2014. At least 96 girls are reportedly still being held by Boko Haram, and a slew of abductions have taken place since then. According to Amnesty International, since the Chibok school girls were abducted by Boko Haram, other schools have been targeted, with girls being abducted, raped, killed, or forced into marriages. The group observed that Nigerian authorities have not carried out a single credible investigation into the security failures that left children vulnerable to the atrocities committed by Boko Haram and gunmen. We take a short break. When we return, we'll have our guest to discuss this particular subject. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to This Day Live, the Sunday talk show here on the Arise News Channel, nine years after the abduction of Chibok schoolgirls. We're now being joined by Isaac Abrak, a journalist who has been on the trail of this heartbreaking story from the beginning. Good to have you on the program, uh, and thank you very much for joining us, uh, Isaac Abrak. Thank you, sir, for having me. Good evening, everybody. Well, Isaac, nine years after, 107 of the schoolgirls were released by the uh, terrorists one way or the other. 16 were rescued by the Nigerian uh, military. Uh, we still have uh, 96 there uh, with uh, 57 managed to escape on their own. It's nine years after. And, uh, you know, uh, various groups have been calling on President Muhammad Buhari to make sure uh, that the remaining girls are freed. Is there still hope that that will happen? There is always hope. Um, the president, uh, uh, we must commend him, you know, for having uh, rescued uh, the 107 that he was able to get back to us and also to the families of, uh, this, uh, of these children. Uh, because he was able to achieve that, we have to believe and we have to continue to, to beckon on him that he can still do it even before uh, May 29th. So there is still hope. And I, I, I like to say here that uh, I have been in contact with uh, some of the parents of, uh, the, the, whose kids are still out there, still in captivity. There is still hope and they are calling on the president and saying that this will just be the cherry on his administration if he can get back and return back these 98 children, uh, daughters of theirs, to them. Well, some other commentators uh, on this occasion of uh, the ninth, uh, well, I, I don't want to use the word anniversary, uh, because this is a sad story, are saying mm -hmm. that if the Buhari administration does yeah. not succeed in getting back the remaining girls in captivity, uh, that uh, that should be the major priority for the uh, next administration the incoming administration of Nigeria after uh, May 29. And not just the cheaper girls, there are also many students who have been abducted. Um, the most recent ones from a local government in uh, Kaduna State. What do you say about that? And what do you say about those who are even saying that the best way to solve the problem is to adopt non-kinetic approach as one northern uh, youth coalition is recommended. Yes, uh, absolutely. Um, that is uh, our desire. Uh, if uh, by any chance that uh, uh, this administration, this outgoing administration, uh, who has done its bit, I must say, by getting the 107 uh, children back, students back, uh, we would uh, uh, now look onto our new uh, uh, president, the president-elect, uh, um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, when he comes on board, uh, we hope that, uh, and we pray, that uh, he makes this uh, a priority to get back 
uh, the, 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 these girls back. And not just these girls, as we have said, uh, because there are a lot of other uh, students and other, uh, other persons that are, uh, that are in captivity. Uh, and thinking about that, one would be convinced to say that uh, it's like uh, the president-elect you know, has identified, uh, at least in his manifesto, the renewed hope that uh, he has uh, the capacity and the intention you know, to bring back these girls. And why do I say so? If you look at the manifesto of uh, the, the, the incoming administration led by President uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, there's one very key thing that appeals to me personally as a journalist and also as a Nigerian. He said in his manifesto that he's going to uh, revamp or create the forest rangers, the forest guard. And, uh, and we know that most of these abductors, most of these kidnappers, most of these terrorists have taken hold of our forest. Now, if Bola Ahmed Tinubu can deploy and bring this, his promise to fertility, and let's have our young people, especially in the villages, to go out and, and, and be recruited and take care of and uh, go around, take care of our forests, then these people, these criminals, these terrorists will have no more playing ground. They will have nowhere to kidnap people and escape. So, therefore, yes, we are looking on Bola Ahmed Tinubu to do this, and yes, we believe that he can do it because his blueprint has suggested that. Well, Isaac, uh, just before we wrap this up, each time we had uh, school abductions, whether it's uh, Chibo girls or Dapchi girls or, you know, students uh, uh, from uh, schools in uh, Kaduna State, there's always this talk about Safe Schools Initiative. And government has talked about this Safe Schools Initiative again and again. There have been ceremonies. As a journalist monitoring the story, what happened to this uh, Safe Schools Initiative? Well, um, it's quite, it's quite int interesting that uh, government came up uh, with such, uh, uh, I mean, ideas, such initiatives. Um, it's, uh, it, has, it, has, it, has its own, it has its own successes. Uh, and the fact that if you look at uh, uh, where we are today, uh, for especially from Kaduna, where I come from, uh, you would want to give to say that uh, the government has had some level of achievement because... Uh, so far, it seems uh, that the level of school abduction has dwindled. The last one we have is, an, is, uh, is on the 4th of April in Kachia, uh, local government. Uh, but after that, you go and look at from then backwards, you will see that there has been a long time since, we've had, uh, since we have any school abductions. So that suggests to you, sir, and our people watching, that the, the Safe School Initiatives and every other initiatives that uh, the government has put in place, even in terms of security, you know, seems uh, 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 to be working. Well, I'm sure some people will agree with you, some people will disagree with you, but there seems to be a, a consensus on one matter. Bring back our girls. That remains the demand of uh, most Nigerians. Thank you very much, Isaac Abrak, uh, for joining us on This Day Live, this Sunday talk Thank show. You.